Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But now let's talk about Quant Network. You know, happy holidays to each and every one of you guys around the world. It is Christmas today. And speaking about Christmas, anyone that is, uh, you know, part of the Quant uh, community or is holding a Quant, I'm sure you guys are smiling today. And if you do know um, that, you know, I have been covering Quant for quite some time. And, you know, this is one of the projects that I had just been quietly taking a look at. And when I was looking at it, I was like, yes, it's still in that $100 range. It hasn't really broken out. A lot of people still commenting, why is Quant not breaking out? Uh, you know, and we started to see a lot of FUD. <laughs> As a matter of fact, if you are part of the uh, QNT community, you know that, you know, we started to see FUD coming in because, you know, Quant wasn't moving because Quant was pretty much staying stagnant around that $100 mark. And that was making me happy when I was seeing these negative comments because, you know, I was happy that, you know, Quant's not moving. It's going to give me an opportunity to be accumulating it at a cheaper price. But today, on December 25th, uh, coincidentally Christmas, we've seen Quant break in towards the upside. Um, and I'm sure a lot of these haters that were, um, you know, hating on Quant um, just a few days back, you know, they're looking at Quant up about 35%. I'm not sure they're smiling at this point. So, um, you know, great, great, uh, uh, you know, day for the QNT community. But let's take a look at what exactly is happening for the price. And of course, what are some next price targets we could be aiming for? So, as of December the 25th, you guys can see the price is currently sitting at $134.63. It's up about 20% in all three comparatives, Bitcoin, USD, and Ethereum comparative. Market cap was above $2 billion just a few hours ago. We did see a little bit of a minor retracement, but pretty much have reached that $2 billion market cap. And the 24-hour trading volume is currently sitting at $153.2 million. And speaking about the trading volume, before, you know, I even let these comments comments come in you know let's take a look at which markets it's listed on so it's listed on pretty much all the big boys you know coinbase you know binance um kraken so, so you know liquidity shouldn't be an issue it should be an organic increase as the price of qnt starts hitting some crucial levels we're going to see this organic growth coming in in terms of its trading volume so that's that but now let's take a look further into the price see what is happening and what are some next price targets we could be looking at for quant before i do get into that guys as always just a quick disclaimer for everyone anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrencies so um, looking at the bitcoin dominance index you guys can see bitcoin dominance index was pretty much uh, hitting a yearly high at 55.26 percent which was on december the 7th but today we have seen seen a sharp sharp decline which is a huge huge positive uh, thing for a lot of altcoins you guys can see this for yourself pretty much we're seeing 50 50 across the board some altcoins up quite a bit and that is due to bitcoin dominance going down because you know as far as bitcoin is concerned you know btc has been uh, seeing a little bit of a minor retracement compared to the other few past days. And, um, you know, that is what's ha currently happening uh, as far as the entire market goes. But let's take a look at what is next for Quant because that's what everyone is here for. So if this is your first time coming onto the channel, um, let me give you guys a little bit of a background on Quant price history. So you guys can see this for yourself. It hit an all-time high, um, you know, previously um, in September exactly september 11th of uh, 2021 you guys can see this for yourself 432 dollars and 43 cents was its all time high now obviously after that we saw a significant drop uh, as did the entire market we saw an all-time low at um you know 40 dollars and 50 cents which was on june of last year and if you are part of the quant um, community you know that qnt had a massive massive run uh, from that low all the way up to October it almost retested the 0.50 Fibonacci retracement level back in October and speaking about back in October guys this was peak bear market 
know, Quant was one of the very few projects that was killing it. And a lot of people were just, you know, speechless at that point. And I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm referring to. But pretty much since then, you know, we did see a huge retracement happen after, um, you know, following the massive FTX collapse. We did see Quant drop down to $96. And then obviously, you know, that fake run that we did see happen earlier this year, we did see QNT break above this resistance. That's $155.64 resistance, but never managed to close close above it and then since then we retested the support line at $85 once again which was on uh, you know October of this year uh, but basically one thing that you want to be looking at as a QNT holder is that you know despite so much uncertainty for the entire market guys we're talking about an FTX collapse that literally impacted the entire market majority of the coins you know hit in quarter three uh you know around september a lot of coins hit all time i'm sorry yearly lows yearly lows but speaking about qnt's all-time low um after it's um you know all-time high you know we saw it to be at 39 dollars and 63 cents and this is something a lot of people tend to ignore uh, you know like I said, huge uncertainty. We were in a bear market, a lot of negative news back to back, but we never saw Quant breaking below this level of support. So pretty much the support at $87.63 pretty much held, and that kept Quant within this consolidation phase that we're seeing here. So you guys can see now that, you know, we pretty much been trading in the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level within this range. So this range is between $154.70 and obviously $87 pretty much have been consolidating within this level. But now what we're seeing happening is we've broken back into the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level, which is uh, a resistance roughly at about $119. Uh, and you guys can see back on December 10th, we did retest that, saw a rejection but this time around we finally seen the price pick up and speaking about this price picking up this is huge because now the main target uh, is literally this resistance right here at $155 and this is exactly the target that I'm aiming for quant now we're above this massive level of support which is basically around you could say pretty much where we're currently sitting at right now you know this is a huge huge level of support which is playing of course as a level of support as we were breaking towards the upset of course that was the resistance but pretty much guys the main target now is this $155 range and if I were to bring out the measuring tool for you guys that's a move of about you could say 15% and we still have about, you could say, seven days till the year comes to an end. And if it's able to cr close out the year above the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level, let the fireworks begin. I think Quant can do something uh, really surprising early next year. So really, really nice to see um, you know Quant finally breaking out before we close out the year of 2023. Let me know down below what you guys think. I would love to see uh, QNT hold within this range where it's currently at and especially stay within this blue range, especially above this $120 mark. If it's able to do that, great, lovely. Beautiful way to close out the year of uh, 2023, especially above this $156 resistance. So we're going to be taking it one step at a time. Let me know what excites you the most about Quant. And of course, um, what is uh, your favorite thing about QNT in terms of its competitors? And where do you see Quant trading at at the peak of next bull run? Let me know in the comments. Love you all. See you tomorrow. Bin Crypto ZX and peace.